Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm here and I'm going to make a uh, charm, a Halloween uh, dangle charm for a couple of my projects. So I had picked up, I don't remember where now, this necklace, it, I think it might have come in a People Give Me Stuff haul and it's broken, it's got lots of pieces but it is like very broken so I am gonna make a small dangle charm using this um, using this necklace as my base so I want it to be I'm gonna use two pieces actually it's gonna be one piece and we're gonna cut it right here Okay. And let's see. Okay, so we do have a dangle on one side. So this is dangling on this side. And then this side is going to get a key. Okay. So I have my little tiny jewelry pliers. And I'm just cutting and separating it. Okay, so now I have this. I'm going to go ahead and take one of the Tim Holtz fasteners, loop fastener, and put it through so that my pieces are at two different levels. So let's say one's four inches and one is about two inches. Okay, so I cut like a six inch piece. <laughs> And I'm going to go ahead and close that just so I don't lose that. Next, I'm going to come down here and I am going to attach a key. And the key has its own closure here. Um, let me use this to open it up a little bit. Okay. And I am not going to use that, I don't think. So we will come back here. And we are going to go to this one. And we're going to unhook this one if we can. Okay, so I've opened the hook. I'm going to add the key here. And I'm going to close it back up. And you could use some other charm that you might already have. This is what I had. Grab my other pink. Okay. I'm going to use these. They remind me of the crocodile. To close it. So I'm holding it and closing it. And there. So now we have a key hanging from it. Okay, I'm going to save this. I probably won't use it on this today, but I'm going to save it. Okay, so next I have gotten these jack-o'-lantern beads. And I got them on sale at Michael's. And there was a bunch of them, like eight or something. And then I have this bendable wire. Um, I did find at Michael's, I found green and red. They are there this year. They're over where the Christmas wreaths are. And, um, yeah, so you can go there. Um, let's see. What did I add at the bottom? Maybe I put the key on the bottom of that when I made it before. Well, we're gonna we're gonna do it different. Um, so I'm gonna make this loop, and I'm gonna add this spider sequin. Okay, and I'm just gonna twist it on. Okay, then I'm going to come and I'm going to cut 
Um, about a three, I mean, from the hook to the top, I'm gonna cut just a little bit more than three inches, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and add the jack-o'-lantern. To the wire okay so just wire it through and then come down here and put that wire through as well you might have to get it to hug the two pieces to hug together and then put it in okay so we have creepy spider and the jack-o-lantern now what I'm going to do is I want to make a little bit of space so I'm just going to take, <laughs> I usually use my paintbrush, and it's not right here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I have this broken paintbrush. <laughs> and I'm just going to go ahead and go wrap it around a couple of times. And that'll give me, and then I'm going to turn it and bend it. And it gives me a little loop. And it also gives me space before I add this really cool, um, this is a bead made out of paper. So it is wrapped paper. And I will do a tutorial on that. I actually bought these, but um, have made them a couple of times. My friend Adrian came over and we made them. She actually bought a kit somewhere that um, she was able to, to make them. So, um, Let's see. Now we're going to go ahead and add this onto the longer the longer strand at the bead that has its hook at the top at the closest to um, three inches. I need to make this go down a little bit more. Okay, this wire is pretty forgiving. Which is nice. So I'm gonna, I want the I'm gonna make the the circle a little closer to the jack o' lantern. Um, you could go ahead and make your wire longer. That would be would have been better. I should have went with my first thought, which was four inches. Okay, so there. Okay, so we're gonna go up to this bead here and loop it through come back and we're going to go ahead and twist it on okay so we have added the pumpkin and the spider onto the longer the longer piece Okay, so we have a key and a pumpkin. Now the other thing that I did that was kind of fun was I have these um, sequins and I just want to show you real quick. This is how most of my sequins are kept. They're in a shoe box. They're in these little containers that you get like six of them for a dollar at your dollar store, your 99 cent store. Um, and so you can see I have a variety of colors because as I needed them, I had to buy more. I just bought some red ones. I also have these that are in these little containers. So just a variety of little containers. And um, yeah, these, oh my gosh, I've had those forever. <laughs> and so I just keep my, se some of my sequins are kept in here. Some of them that are in cool containers. I have a, a rack where all my glitters and the sequins that are in bigger containers are kept. But um, I just keep them in those little containers. Um, I used to keep them in a drawer, a real thin drawer, upside down. And I had two. I picked them up, and they were upside down, and they opened and went all over the drawer. And I went, okay, I'm done with that. And then also one time they got caught up in the drawer. So I have some little bats. And I have some boo. One of the things that I do like to buy sequins because they are very versatile. I can use them in a lot of things. 
Um, so when I find sequins, sometimes I'll even put other things back to bring home the sequins. <laughs> so, um, so we have this boo that is purple. And I'm thinking I like it right there. And I'm going to see if I can use this. Now the boo has a, se a sequin hole here, or you can use part of the bee. I'm going to try using part of the bee just because um, it's closer. Okay. And then I'm going to come back to my thing and I my charm my tassel charm and um, figure I'm gonna put it underneath this first set and I'm gonna put it on the other piece so the short piece because I wanted some purple on on this charm because the other things that I'm making are the bright purple and green and orange and yellow that I'm making for this particular swap. It's a Happy Mail swap. And I need, like I said, I need a couple of these. So there is my boo is attached. So there you get that. Now another thing that I had done was I took some of this purple bling and I had a piece of, of a, I had a dot 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 that was in with some of the Halloween things and what I, um, the Halloween uh, things to make embellishments and there was just a little three uh, dot dot dot, imagine that. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna leave the, the, um, the sticky on it and I just went and I stuck it around one of the I just kept, brought it in and stuck it to itself and made it a purple bead out of it okay just to add a little more purple down further if you had a purple bead I probably do but I would have to go looking for it um, but that gives me a purple sparkly in there okay and so the I'm trying to think what other sequins I have I do have I have a skull I'm not going to add it on this one because it does not go at all with the theme of that I'm using in this particular project but you could do the same thing he has a hole here or in his eyes and you could attach him you could even just go ahead and attach him to the top um, just like this and he would just be hanging there okay and that would give you some uh, some glittery uh, attention to the top there. Um, the other thing that I did do is um, on, I did make one of these a couple days ago and I was uploading other videos so I couldn't film a video. <laughs> but now I have, um, oh gosh, I'm you know, things uh, electronically around here this week things are going really well. We have our printer up and working it scans it uh, we did not hook up the fax because we already have a fax machine but it scans it is working it is printing um, this is a printer that I bought a few years ago when I was working full-time and I set it up and I was so frustrated with it on my computer and it wouldn't talk to each other and um, Oh my gosh, it was just so frustrating. So I um, I um, went ahead and it we pulled it out and we've been able to make it work and it's just, like I said, it's exciting. So um, now I have got my iPad to 
film. And so that will really, really help um, being able to film one on my iPad, have it uploading, and then film on my phone. Um, so, okay, so what I did was I took from, I have this, I bought one of those big packages of the mixed sequence. And I've taken a purple, an orange, and a green in three different sizes, and I've a, I've just put them on here to give it some more color. Um, again, I could also put the the little skeleton on there. Okay, but I think this makes a nice little gift for a, for Happy Mail, and it could be. You know, you could put it on your planner. You could leave it on whatever it's been gifted to you on. I put them sometimes on a flip book. I'll put them with a mini pocket letter or a pocket letter. Um, but it could it could also go on your purse for. It could even go. You could pin it on the you know on the front of your shirt, like in a buttonhole or something. I think it's really cool. The one other thing that I would do to it, and I'll usually do this, if I'm attaching it to something, I'll wait until I've attached it. But I had gotten some of this ribbon that um, at uh, Michael's, and I would just tie a knot bow. A <laughs> knot bow. So just tie it in a knot. I wouldn't do a full bow because it would overpower this um, is pretty delicate. I would I call this a knot bow. Okay, so it's a knot, and then you cut it, and it's a bow. Okay, it's a knot bow. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> okay, so there we have my little Halloween. Dangle charm using sequins, paper beads, more sequins, the bling, and a couple of charms. And of course, um, that awesome wire. And like I said, they were still putting stuff out at my Michaels, so they could be um, adding the gold because they had only gotten like less than a quarter of the aisle done. And there were still all the holes going down. So um, so watch for this. It will be in the um, in the wreath area and where they have like the picks and things for Christmas, the little flower picks and pine cone picks and stuff. This are what I bought last year. I got the pink and the blue and the red and the gold. I will be getting the green. Um, actually for wreaths I will be getting. I'm getting low, you know, 30, 30, 25, no, 30 years ago, I bought uh, a big thing of wire, two, two or three, three different sizes, actually three sizes, um, when I had my flower shop and my flower business, and I'm starting to get run out, and those are green, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you go and make yourself a charm, a tassel charm, possibly using an old necklace, a couple of charms, uh, some sequins, maybe even some paper beads, and what a what a fun, fun thing. So if you do, I'd love to hear about it. You can tell me here, or you can join our group, Scrap All About It. It's a fake Facebook group. It's small but growing, and um, gives us a chance for me to see what it is that you do and what you make and you can share it with all of our friends there i'd love to see you there again it's scrap all about it on facebook so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any comments questions suggestions put them down below find something to celebrate every day don't forget to subscribe have a great day bye bye oh wait wait can't do that Today is day 13, and I think now we should just laugh. So this is my costume of the day. It is laugh. Smile, jeepers, awesome. I did not talk. I had a horn. <laughs> so, And it was funny. It was a Sunday, actually, 
And my district manager came in that day. And, you know, for the first couple minutes, I didn't talk to him. I just talked the horn. And he, he goes, you took this costume thing very seriously, didn't you? And I'm like, yes, I did. <laughs> so I have on one of my husband's old, it's a Western shirt. It's really bright. All these different colors, striped and patterns. And I have on a big red tie. I wore, uh, I think I had on mom jeans, you know, pulled up real funny or, um, you know, the, the glasses with the nose, the colorful clown wig and the headband made it perfect because the colorful clown wig was actually a children's wig and it fit me perfect, except you could see my hair right here. So that, um, worked. And then I have on a little tiny black top hat. So there you go. A clown laugh hopefully it doesn't make my girls cry that don't like clowns <laughs> anyway i hope you enjoyed this have a great day don't forget to subscribe bye bye